What did I get? Hi y'all. This came in the mail today. I ordered it yesterday. Boy, I'm so spoiled. Sometimes I get upset when it says it won't come till tomorrow. What? What is it? What is it? What is it? Some of you might know. Do, 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 do. Oh. Garden of Fairy Tale Animals by Kanoko Gusa. I got this book for Christmas and I already had this one and I have just, well, I don't want to say fallen in love, but I love the illustrations, absolutely love them. And I know that this is a little bit older of a book um, than this one. I mean, I'm, I'm real behind in the coloring book game, so this is new to me. Um, but I was excited to find this one and I've already planned at some point to do a color along with a, a not color along, what do you call it? In color together, buddy coloring with a couple of people on this book. And, ah, so this is the English version. And it probably has the first page done, but that's okay. I love the covers. They're so nice. Nice and slick. In the, um, the other versions, I guess the Japanese and probably German, and this page is not colored. You color it yourself. So I was a little bit, a little bit discouraged about that, but... It's very beautiful. I mean, I can get inspiration from this for the other pages. So I like it a lot. And I'm gonna do a quick, quick flip through. So you'll see my first impression. Oh, look at that. Okay, there's this one. It's not quite the same, but all of these elements are in the book. It does not make me love this book less than I do, so it's okay. But I'm, I'm so glad they've got this in there. That'll be awesome. She's got the theme of animals on the bookshelf in, um, in Symphony. There's tulips, very beautiful. I'm not a big fan of wallpapers, but you know, I'll color in a little bit here and there, maybe like a tester page. This one is, as Coloring with K says, will take ages, ages to finish, but it'll be beautiful in the end. Oh my goodness, I can see it in color here you know the stone the bricks kind of that reddish brick red colors and the little yellow some of them will be yellow depends i'll have to look that up oh beautiful this one i think must have been a computer one. I'm not sure. If you like mandalas, there's one here. This has a variety of, of different things, different types of pages. If you like just wallpaper, you got it going there. And here's a beautiful wreath. Look at this with the strawberries. Oh my goodness. And the little mice. 
making the cake or those little rats. No, they're mice. <laughs> Sorry, I really did say I'd do a flip through. I wonder what you could put back there. Stamps, oh wow. That is so cool, I love that. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna have to think long, long and hard on that one. I mean, you could just do anything. Any kind of background there. Some fish, koi. Oh, look at the little mouse. Under the leaf umbrella, they're so cute. There's some frogs in the middle of the wallpaper. That one might be really, really fun to do because I could practice doing metals of some kind in there. Little goats. Sorry, I'm trying to get you in the picture in the centered here. Picture. Beautiful. A flower tree. You can see her style of the kingdom of curious creatures coming out in this a little bit. Wow, that's like multiple layered heel going on there. And the little bunny is off on a journey. Yeah, this is one of the ones I was interested in doing. nautical theme. Lots and lots of fish. Ice cream. French bulldogs. Parrots. Parrots and ice cream. Birds and ice cream. <laughs> I'm, I'm not real thrilled about some of this stuff. I mean, it's drawn beautifully. It's just, I would rather have this maybe the same or a little bigger with this kind of thing on the edge, you know, like a, like a border, you know, same thing over here. This one is just stunning. If you like mushrooms, there you go. <laughs> yes, Marty. I'm not a big fan of Halloween, but that's a cute kitty cat. This one is gorgeous. I really like this one a lot. The owl is so beautiful. Maybe one day I'll get a get these books again and not color in them, just have a uncolored copy just to enjoy the artwork. This this may be one of the first ones I color in this. How do you pick with so many beautiful pictures? Yeah, I'm not sure about that one. It's very wintry. Ooh. I do like wreaths. I'm, I'm a wreath fan in coloring books. I've already colored the little fox one in here. I've seen this these two pages a lot. And this one. Oh yes. Lots of starry stuff going on there. <laughs> I 
I love the little foxes. Oh, I see. The wool from an alpaca, or is that a sheep? <laughs> and spun into something you can make things with. Yeah, I'm not sure about this one. It, it looks like it's just kind of set together. I, I'd rather have the little squirrel separate or, you know, something. Maybe a bigger one with this behind it. I, I don't know. I still like this book a lot. Yeah, beautiful. I noticed that... Her lines are darker in this one. But y'all probably knew that. Oh, look at that one. That one's adorable. Well, that one is too, but I'm at this one. Here, you take the key and open the door. going under the rainbow. I'm not sure what's going on there. Ooh. There's the, the unicorn, the flying unicorn coming out. Wow. That was a beautiful page too. Whoa. Wow, there's way too much going on in this one for me. I mean, I love each element. It's just like, there's too much. Now we're having a party. And then closing it good night. Closing the book good night. Alright, well that's the end of that book. I'm excited to get going on that one too. All right. See y'all later. Bye.